Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics. They're bad for you, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on Library or BitChute, the name of my channels on those two websites is Comic Freak. Independent comic books. We're going to be talking about that today. Wizard World Cleveland highlights the rise of the independent creator and how it is changing the comic book landscape. So, yeah. From, well, Ethan Van Skyver's Wrecked Planet to Zack and his, uh, own Indiegogos, we're going to be talking about the independent creators of comics today. I attended last weekend's Wizard World Cleveland Comic Con not knowing what to expect. Little did I know it would be the last entertainment convention in the U.S. for a little while as we ride out COVID-19. But if you talk to the independent comic book creator at the convention, you'd learn that the fact is that they are very optimistic about the future. I had never been to a convention before, so I had a mixture of trepidation and excitement going on. I had imagined the guy going to his first convention was probably pretty happy. He got to talk to a bunch of comic book creators and ask them their opinions on how the comic book industry is going right now. What I found in my time there is that independent creators are reshaping the comics industry in an exponential rate. The real treasure amongst the various vendors, celebrities, and gosplayers were the authors, writers, artists, and pencilers. Legendary comic artist Jim Sterinko gave me a wink and a smile and said, Comic books now aren't the ones you remember, kid. Yeah, the independent comic books are, well, getting even better. But if you take a look at the actual... Uh, comic book industry right now, the actual titles being put out are just complete garbage. Getting back on track, he's absolutely right. As I made my way around the floor over the weekend, this was the prevailing theme. Whether it's members of the 501st, the world-renowned Star Wars gosplayers, or fans walking the floor, the consensus is that entertainment has lost touch. The 501st member I spoke to told me Star Wars will come back once Kathleen Kennedy is gone and and Disney honors the spirit of what Star Wars is. I don't really think that's ever going to happen. I think Disney should just die and give Star Wars to someone else. I met an independent 3D animator named Sean, who goes by his name, show name, he... Or Seanime. He created his own franchise called Cybertech to fill that animated science fiction vacuum that is currently present. His Cybertech series is currently available on Amazon Prime Video. He created this as a labor of love and good storytelling as he described it to me. Which is something you don't see currently going on in the mainstream comic book industry. Longtime DC anchor and now independent creator Barbara Kellberg said the success of so many independent campaigns have really given everyone an opportunity. She continued, women and men are getting an opportunity they might not otherwise have had to get their creative vision across. Successful Kickstarter and Indiegogo projects such as Ethan Van Skyver's Cyberfrog series and the resurgence of Lady Death by Brian Polito support this. The fact that Cyberfrog Wrecked Planet has made over 300 and $92,150 is testament to that fact that it is such a successful thing going now. That comic book creators know their industry is not going to die. In fact, it's going to take off like no one's ever seen it before. The biggest takeaway I had from the weekend was that the independent creative spirit is alive more than ever, spurred on by the entertainment industry that seems to have bypassed storytelling to pursue a social justice and political narrative. Creators are taking a stand. They want traditional fans to know they haven't been forgotten. As always, keep your eye on Bounding Into Comics for future content and share your thoughts below. Oh, by the way, before I end this video, I'm just going to remind you, I've made a playlist of all my comic book reviews on my uh, YouTube channel, so check them out when you have the chance. If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people, so make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Read comics that are bad for you, then go over to Library and BitChute and subscribe to my channels on those two websites. They're both named Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like like button and leave some comments down below and if you could could you also please share this video share it on twitter share it on reddit and share it on facebook share it anywhere you think it'll do the most good because youtube is not going around promoting their own youtube careers anymore so please share this video now listen closely it's that time of the day again keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.